Hello, everyone. RPG Kim Kid here, back with the finale of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, in the previous video, we wrapped up uh, Chapter 4, Episode 4, however they're called. Um, and we finally met the Crooked Man. And I am uh, I'm being amicable. I am being like, hey, let's talk first. You know what? Fine, let's do that. So we gotta see how this is all gonna play out. We are actually, funny enough, I believe... Oh, no. So, yeah. I believe the only... I think I should be able to get all the Book of Fables here uh, if I pick one dialogue option, uh, which is the only missable one. And if I pick that one, I'll be great. If not, then I'd have to play through the entire game again. Well, not the game, but, like, go to that chapter again. So, yeah. So, we should be able to get the Platinum in this game. Get the Platinum with both this and the... And the... And I am Setsuna, so it's awesome. I actually do like that sometimes, like when I'm let's play in a game, and then I also get the platinum in the let's play. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. But all right, yeah. Um, here we are, the final chapter. Cry Wolf is what it's called, and uh, I'll be honest, I'm excited to see how this ends. So let's get started. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I mean, she didn't say that to me. Not if I can avoid it. Or maybe she did, I don't know. No. Holly's sister. Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. He's That's fine. why he can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Oh, God, Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Kind of wish I said yes to that one now instead of saying no promises or I can't guarantee it, but we'll see. And yep, pretty much that's how they always do it on the final episodes. They, if there's like openings like this, that's how they do that. I'll be honest, I do really want to pick up the Fable graphic novel comic books. Because these are, they are pretty cool. I have actually read a little bit way back when. Uh, like, one of my friends had it in college. And I was like, hey, can I, what's that? I was like, oh, yeah, it's like, here, look at it. I'm like, okay, I read it. like, this is really good. So I was like, yeah, it's like, you should check that out. I was like, yeah, damn right, I should. So I honestly don't know if they're still going on or not, or if it's there or not. But... I'll be honest, it'd be pretty cool if there's like a, you know, a, kind of like a TV series or something based off of them or something. I mean, I, I know we're getting the second one of this series at some point. so long way. You must be tired. Nighttime. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Dream. Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. 
sirloin. Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Fine, Gamma I'll scotch. take a drink. Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, then I'm not drinking. Fuck. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. I also don't have a gun. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. Well... You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I know? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Hmm. Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Hmm? Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? I don't know. I almost killed you or one of your <laughs> You're brothers. Nothing more That's than enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Kind of figured it was. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is... George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, okay. let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. That you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're right, Bollocks bullshit. You're just gonna let him do this. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Alright, let's talk. You can't just hand me over! I wanna keep talking! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuck us all? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go nah, to that hole at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. Just 
speak the truth, I'd never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Maybe I should have just grabbed Georgie. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. It was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. No, not happening. Stay down. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, how convenient. Holy shit. 
That's a lot of blood. Come on, we can't stay here. Uh, hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, George? Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> Oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh, you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking- mean it. Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do so what why? you're told. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course... The big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. I'll get him too. It won't too. free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Ugh. Oh. Oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free and Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take oh. it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. Mm -hmm. So don't yep. you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? Well, makes sense. I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it 
It was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. Bubbly. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Ooh. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. Of course you do. It's your life. I know what I've done. No, Wait. don't. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what Gwen? I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Stop. Oh. Oh, Vivian! Oh. No. oh! Fuck. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just. Jesus. Vivian, I didn't fucking Fuck Alright, let's look at the book of fables The girl with the ribbon Vivian's story The girl with the ribbon Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time was on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the stream, Vivian woke up and saw what her husband was doing. In a pack, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon's knot from being undone. Fear she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized that she couldn't trust him inside to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. Fuck. Fucking mean it. I was just. Oh. <sighs> oh. Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know, the bastard deserves it. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. You'll remember Good. that in his five seconds Old of life left. by the river. All right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. 
Hey, you know what? I will make it quick. All right, Georgie. Fuck. Is it more about Georgie or something? Because I'll be honest, I kind of want to know a little bit more about him. The Pudding Pie! Vivian and Georgie's place. Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands and they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. What, with what little money they had, they all opened the Pudding Pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than to be forced through desperation to work at one. I mean, I guess. So we have six more. God damn. Rough. Ooh, the music. Road hard, put up wet. I saw that. That's what the poster said. Shepherd Metalworks. All right. I am actually curious if there's a way we could have prevented her from dying. Probably not. But I guess you never know. Still warm. He's here, all right. Best safety device is a careful worker. Big B Wolf. The big bad wolf. Hell, hold on. That coffin. Broomstick. You used to be something. Is that, is that all three of them? Faith in Narissa, I think. That's uh, Faith, Narissa, and possibly Lily. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Oh, can I not look at the wheel from over here? No, I can't from here. Of the crooked man's wheel. Silver bullets. Silver. 